today we're making tiger prawn chow mein. A special treat for any occasion. Today we're at the TNT supermarket. We're gonna buy some seafood and get some uh, giant tiger prawns. We're gonna make some fantastic uh, stir fry. At this Asian supermarket, we'll find the fresh, plump tiger prawns. But you can also use the frozen tiger prawns. For the same price, you'll get a lot more prawns. For this recipe, we're using one bag of fresh chow mein noodles, 16 ounces or 454 grams. So you can use uh, any kind of Asian noodles that you like. So just make sure the noodles are nicely separated. So it only takes about a minute to cook these noodles. Then just uh, put the uh, noodles in a strainer, rinse with cold water. So the cold water will stop the noodles from cooking. Also remove some of the starches. Now just preheat your pan or wok at medium to medium high heat. Put about three to five tablespoons of cooking oil. Here we're using peanut oil. Grill the noodles for a few minutes on each side and then separate the noodles and cook the noodles until all the noodles are grilled to the texture that you like. Add more cooking oil if needed. So for the individual crown, I think these are called florets. Put the broccoli in boiling water. Add a tablespoon of cooking oil just to shine up the broccoli. And cook the broccoli for about one to two minutes or longer if you want more tender broccoli. When the noodles are cooked, put the noodles in a tray or a plate and arrange the broccoli around the noodles. So preheat your wok or your pan at medium to medium high heat. I like to use ginger so I put one to two tablespoons of sliced ginger. So give your ginger a quick stir fry for about 15 seconds. And then we're going to add the prawns. There's two pounds of prawns here. I'm going to use about a pound for an order. So that's about uh, maybe twice as much as what you get in the restaurant. I like to add half a teaspoon of sea salt. Salt is optional. And then I like to add three to four tablespoons of regular soy sauce, also known as light soy sauce. And Shaoxing cooking wine is an option. You can put two or three tablespoons of Shaoxing cooking wine if you like for added flavor. To make the sauce, add one to one and a half cups of chicken broth. If you don't have chicken broth, just use water if you like. Add a tablespoon of chicken soup base for flavor and then add some sliced carrots for color. And then I add my favorite uh, sauce, the Chinese oyster sauce. So put in two to three tablespoons of Chinese oyster sauce. Bring the sauce to a boil and then add a slurry of one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with a third a cup of water. So add the slurry to the desired thickness of the sauce and then give the sauce a final stir fry. There you have it, tiger prawn chow mein. A special treat you can serve for any occasion to your friends and family or maybe just serve it for yourself as a special treat. Enjoy.
Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Any comments are always welcome. Take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.